project, my dear fellow. So it's a camera's You're well. telling me to project <laughs> and how to direct. <laughs> <laughs> a new colonel was posted to Ralph Pindy, and he arrived at the station and the sergeant major met him. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir, major. What sort of a station is this? He said, Ralph Pindy, sir, it's the best station in the Far East, sir. Oh. What makes it so? He said, well, sir, uh, today is Wednesday. Wednesday night in the officer's mess is one of the great nights at the Far East, sir. You'll love Wednesday night, sir. Oh. Why will I love Wednesday night, sir, major? Well, sir, <coughs> we grab young Kim by the scruff of the neck and we kick his ass down to here. <laughs> he comes back laden with um, copious quantities of beer and uh, red label scotch and other and we all get pissed and fall about, sir. Oh. I won't love Thursday night, sir, Do You see, I don't drink. Oh, never mind, sir. Uh, Thursday night, sir, it's, it's absolutely thunderous. You'll love Thursday <laughs> night, sir. <laughs> what, what happens Thursday night, sir, Oh, Thursday night is absolutely thrilling, sir. We grab young Kim by the scruff of the neck, we kick his ass down the hill, and he comes back laden with all the local prostitutes of various shapes and sizes, sir, and we all fornicate till dawn. It's absolutely <laughs> thrilling, sir. You would love Thursday. No, I won't, sir, Major. You see, I have just been married, and my good lady, at the precise moment, is travelling by clipper to this godforsaken country. I will not love Thursday night. No, my sir. Friday night is... It's... <laughs> it's uh, you, you love Friday night, so it's, it's such fun. Oh? What happens Friday night, sir, Major? Oh, you love Friday night, sir. We grab young Kim by the scruff of the neck, we kick his ass down the hill, and he comes back laden with bales of marijuana and LSD and other hallucinatory drugs, and we all get stoned and fall about on the floor. He said, it's, 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 it's fun, sir. You, you love Friday night, what's that, Major? You see, I believe that every emotion should come from the heart. It doesn't need the stimulus of drugs. Sir, with respect, are you some sort of pufter? Indeed, I'm not, sir, Major. Oh, he said. You're going to fucking loathe Saturday night, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one, that one. <laughs> yeah, do you want to switch it up? <laughs> this is serious. You went to the doctor, and the doctor said, I'm going to rest it, but I didn't. Shut up, the dog. <laughs> but but, but it's, it's terrible, terrible, terrible news. He said, you, you've only got 18 hours to live. Huh? He said, you've only got 18 hours to live. Holy shit. So he went home. And he said to the wife, he, he told her, you know, and she was obviously concerned. And he said, can we uh, go to bed and have a little sex? He said, yes, indeed. He was, off they go to bed. About six hours later, More sex, and she said, "Yes, indeed." You know, he fell asleep again. He woke up and he said, "It's now the middle of the night. I've only got six hours to go. Can we have a little more sex?" And she said, "Yes." And he, by now, it's getting to the Jesus. He didn't go to sleep. And he said, Darling, I only got four hours left. Come, can we have a little sex? And she said, No, you've had enough. I've got to get up in the morning, but you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Himself he died. And the father came around to bless the house and attend the wake. And he said to the missus, he said, Sure, what did himself die of? And she said, Father, he died from the gonorrhea. Oh, bless my soul, he said. Bless all in the house. And off he went. And the daughter said, Mother, he didn't die from the gonorrhea. It was the diarrhea. <laughs> yes, I know, she said. 
But I'd rather he went remembers the great lover than the little shit he really was. <laughs> Fantastic you look. look. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? Except you nearly <laughs> fell over when you did it. I've got a gammy leg. <laughs> Late 18s and published in the bullet. Mm. But the original version, which is very interesting, mm. that was called The Bastard from the Bush. Yeah. We asked a little bit of projection. <laughs> As the night was falling softly of a city, town, and bush, yeah. from a house in Hogan's Alley came the cabin to push, mm. and his whistle loud and piercing woke the echoes of the rocks. And a dozen ghouls came slouching round the corner of the docks. And the captain jerked a finger at a stranger on the curb, and he qualified politely with an adjective and verb. <laughs> He's a covey from the bush, and fuck me blind, he wants to join us, be a member of the push. And the stranger made this answer to the captain of the push, why, fuck you, dead. I'm Foskin Fred the Bastard from the bush. I've been to every tour school from Darwin to the loo. I've ridden colts and black gins. What more can a bastard do? You going to smash a wind or ask the captain of the bush? I'd knock a fucking house down, said the bastard from the bush. Would you take a baby from a maiden? asked the captain of the bush. I'd take a baby's maiden, said the bastard from the bush. <laughs> Would you bash a bloody copper if you caught the cunt alone? Would you stouse a swill or chinky, split his garret with a stone? <laughs> Would you make your wife a harlot, live on what she makes for good? Again. That bastard voice rang out. My fucking oath, I would. So the push I saw took counsel, saying, Fuck me, but he's game. Let's make him our star basher. He'll live up to his name. So they took him to their hideout, that bastard from the bush, and granted him all privileges appertaining to the push. But pretty soon, they found his little ways were more than they could stand. And finally, the captain thus addressed his little band. Now listen here, you buggers. We've caught a fucking tart. At every kind of bludging, that bastard's in the start. At poker and two up, we shook our fucking rules. He swipes our fucking liquor and he robs our fucking girls. So down in Hogan's Alley, all the members of the push led a dark and dirty ambush for the bastard from the bush. Against the wall of Riley's pub, the bastard made a stand, a nasty grin upon his dial, a bike chain in each hand. They fell upon him in a bunch, but one by one they fell with crack of bone, an earthly groan, an agonizing yell, till the sorely battered captain, spitting teeth and gulps of blood, held an ear all torn and bleeding. There's a hand with the dog with mud. You low polluted bastard, snarled the captain with a push. Get back to where your sort belongs, that's somewhere in the bush. And I hope heaps of misfortune may tumble down on you. May some lousy howler dose you till your bollocks turn sky blue. May the pangs of windy spasm through your bowels dart. May you shit your fucking trousers every time you try to fart. May you take a swig of gin's piss, mistaking it for beer. May the push you next impose on toss you out upon your ear. May the itching piles torment you. May corns grow on your feet. May crabs as big as spiders attack your balls a treat. And when you're down and out and to a hopeless bloody wreck, may you slip back through your arsehole and break your fucking neck. That's the original one. It's good, isn't it? That's insane. That's beautiful. I like that word, insane. Poetry. I was giving my cab drop at Oh, that's fine. That's part of the Dean's view. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. I was a bad guy. Hello, my darling. He's camera, man. I've got some money for you. 22-year-old guy, sitting on the park bench, mm. crying his eyes out. And he yelled spunky like he was jogging. And he said, um, what's the matter, sport? And he said, it's all right. He said, pass at the moment. He said, I'm 92 years old. And I recently married a 30-year-old girl who happens to be a sex maniac, and she's a multi-millionaire. How she fell in love with me, I have no idea. But um, her hobby is cooking, and um, we get up in the morning after breakfast, and the breakfast is 
thinly sliced wafer thin pieces of bacon, eggs benedict, and a bottle of champagne. And then immediately after breakfast, it's back to bed. At 11 o'clock, she wakes me again with a Bloody Mary. And it's, she, she knows exactly, she's been to Mexico, knows exactly how to talk to me. And then at 11 o'clock, uh, I finish the Bloody Mary and I have a shower, and a massage, you know. <laughs> And uh, I go down for lunch. Well, and she, oh, she did a course in Tuscany last year, cooking. It's a hobby, I told you. And she prepares this sumptuous repast of fantastic Italian food. And uh, the wines, I mean, they're, they're, we've got our own cellar, of course, and it's. We own the odd bottle of Grange, perhaps. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> bloody marvellous, you know. <laughs> After lunch, it's back to bed. And then she gets up at four o'clock and she brings me a gin and tonic. Because I always have a gin and tonic at four o'clock. And then, you know, second gin and tonic. Meanwhile, she's downstairs. Oh, and she did a couple of courses in Paris, that's in France. <laughs> <laughs> cooking, cooking. And she prepares this fantastic bloody French cuisine dinner. And the sauces are magic. And we open maybe a I don't know, a Louis St. George or a whatever wine we feel like, you know. <laughs> That's after a few, um, you know, before dinner. <laughs> and then after, after dinner we have, um, we have our coffee and liqueurs. We've got a selection of about, oh, a hundred in the bar. You know? and, and, and then I smoke my cigar and immediately after dinner when it's all over, um, back to bed. And the guy said, what the hell are you complaining about? For Christ's sake, why the tears? He said, I can't remember where I live. <laughs> <laughs> my, my favorite Irish story is, is Paddy saw his mate coming out of the woods and sack on his shoulder. And I said, uh, Paddy, he said, um, what have you got in the sack? Oh, he said, I got some geese in the sack. Oh, he said, I love a bit of goose. He said, I'll tell you what, if I can guess how many geese you got in the sack, will you give me one? If you can guess how many geese I got in the sack, I'll give you both of them. He <laughs> said, four. <laughs> switch off. For you, you know. He loves that he camera. Loves all this camera. He loves all his cameras. Yeah. I'm doing this for you, mate. Yeah. You want this memory? I was in the middle of one and I forgot what the hell I was thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> Keith would, would, would love this actually. Keith is still probably looking for the spaceship that brought him here. <laughs> he, 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 musically, he's never going to be satisfied. Mm. He lives in America and Connecticut. And I've never been to his home, but I'm quite sure that if I ran into him in New York, I would probably spend a couple of weekends at his home. Uh, in fact, I know I would, but I'd have to do the cooking. <laughs> uh, hmm. The best musos in the world are in New York. He says, I mean, I, I would... He'll never be a Van Gogh, but he's probably the best guitar player in the world today. Hmm. Um, how he got involved with Mick and the rest of the bums, I'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. His daughters, I'm, only, um, I'm told authoritatively yeah. by musicians who, whose respect I, you know, I, they have earned that um, Charlie Watts and Bill Wyman were the best rock and roll rhythm section mm. in the world. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> i got to pee, it's all right. Wait till it all comes out. How <laughs> <laughs> many people I've worked with? Oh, wow. There's thousands more. You see how many you recognize. Start from the left. Oh, don't test me on more. That's Pam. Right. Who's that? <coughs> rhymes, rhymes with groan. Oh, uh, don't test me on more. It looks like Mick Jagger, mate. It does look like Mick Jagger. It is, it is Mick not Jagger. Mick Jagger. It is. It's Mick Jagger. Shit.
Looks like a girl there, actually. Well, he did look like a girl. Doesn't he? I thought that was a girl. Who's that? Oh, fuck. Marty help us out. Glenn Ford. Glenn Ford. Glenn Ford. Oh, yeah. Okay. Red Lindsay. Yeah, okay. Red Nazar. Leslie Wilson. Oh, fucking hell. No way. Very young, Leslie. He looks young there. Well, I haven't seen that in a while. Right from the Rolling Stones. Red Nazar. One of my best friends is dead now. Harry Gardino from. From uh, Dirty, Harry. Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry. Clary played uh, he, Eastwood's um, like oh, in superintendent or whatever. Right, right, right. right. Tour guy. That's uh, Jeannie Little, isn't it? That's Jeannie Little, right? Yeah. Who's that? Lorraine Desmond. All right, okay. Bob Lansing. Right. Bob okay. Clark. No, him, Mike Walsh. Mike no. Walsh. Elaine Lee. Yeah, 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 okay. Right, Barry Crocker. Crocker. Vic Morrow, mate. Combat. Vic Morrow? Vic Morrow? He's Remember from Combat? And he was in Twilight Zone, he lost his... Oh, okay, Twilight Zone. Lost yeah. his head. Didn't you ever watch Combat? No. Oh, I love Combat. Mm. Absolute favourite. Murray Rockland, the best magician in the world. Right, no, him. Johnny Lockland. Don Lane. Mike Randall. Right, okay. Okay. What Let's about this dude over here, anyway? Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say that. I said, wait, I'll try to wait. Come here. You, come here. Oh, oh. Give me that pull, my God, it's huge. Oh. <laughs> is this one older, Mike? Is yes, it? yeah. He's, got... He's an old man. Yeah. God, is, this is take two. Are you ready? Tell him. Hey, 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 hey. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Avocado trees, some of them. Hey. Yes. Are you ready to watch snapshot? Schnell. Come on, with your doggies. Okay, can I we talk need, over to, this or need not? to download. That's it. Yeah, you certainly can. All right. And she, she doesn't understand a damn thing about. This is Jack, Blackjack, and this is Joey. Okay, look at the cameras. Blackjack, Joey. You eye on me. I did get you, yes. <laughs> this is where we sell the wine, wine and the avocados behind you, Mike. This, this, uh, Michael. Michael. And there's Martin. Oh. Guy was speaking. This is the shopkeeper. This is the person who drinks all 